good morning children hope you all are doing good myself shake parana banu welcome to bmc edu english standard 4 okay so children today we will learn ebs 1 okay so i'll be sharing my screen with you <coughs> children don't forget to subscribe like share our bmc edu english standard 4 okay now before telling the name of the lesson i want to ask you something okay if you know the answer tell me what are the basic needs of man children do you know what are the basic needs of a man can anyone tell me what do we need cloth cloth very good and shelter very good and you can see food this. food very good so shelter food and clothes are the basic needs of a man so today we will study about the topic is clothes okay now tell me children why do we wear clothes why we wear them why we wear clothes Mm, think and tell me why we wear clothes. Yes. Because clothes protect us from cold. Very good. Very good. See, very good answer. Because clothes cover our body. They cover our body and they protect us from cold, wind. dust and sun that is why we all wear clothes okay very good answer now children today we will see how clothes are made children we all know that we eat food okay and we we get the food from the agriculture okay but do you know from where do we get the clothes from how they are made and from where they from where they are taken out okay so everything we will study today okay about clothes come on now can you tell me what is this in this picture can you guess this magnifying glass very good this is a magnifying, magnifying glass yes very good see magnifying glasses are a kind of lens you can see here in between there is a lens a kind of a lens that is used to make objects appear larger okay so let us keep this magnifying glass on a piece of a cloth okay so see here we have kept the magnifying glass on a piece of a cloth now you can see here through the magnifying glass beta mute yourself mute yourself huh? so you can see here this magnifying glass or we have kept it on a cloth piece of a cloth you can see a lines lines type threads type okay so this is how the cloth is made so let us learn detail about it okay next now see we all know for stitching a clothes we go to the tailor okay now what the tailor will do for stitching a frock or for stitch, stitching a, a shirt what he will do he will cut the cloth he will cut the cloth after cutting the cloth what do we see at the edges you can see here this is a cloth which is cut from a side okay and what do you see at its edges this these are the edges what do you see children here can anybody tell me this one what do we see this what is this at the edge of the cloth yes children can anybody tell me what is this left out thread these are the threads very good so from the threads so from the threads the cloth is made see children intertwining repeat after me intertwining intertwining threads intertwining threads okay intertwining threads together when the threads are you can see here these are the different colors of threads when they are intertwined in this way okay when they are intertwined in this way okay intertwining threads together 
is called weaving they are woven children and then we will get a piece of a cloth okay we can see here the threads so many threads are used okay they are intertwined okay after that the cloth is made so in this way the cloth is made see now for a smaller piece of for a smaller piece of cloth we use smaller threads but for a long piece of cloth we will use long threads see long threads are woven are woven together to make cloth you can see here in this the threads are long okay and then they are woven and then they are woven and then we will get will get a large piece of cloth okay so this is how now but we have to think where does this thread come from from where do we get this thread cloth is made from the thread but from where do we get this thread see let's do an activity okay what do you have to do children you have to take a wad of cotton wool okay this is a piece of a cotton what we have to do we have to place it down okay and then we have to we lay it on on your palm and pressing it with other with other hand roll it in one direction and then we have to roll it out okay you can see here in this picture how it is done in this way we will get a long one what we will get at the end this type isn't it you must have seen this is called wick okay if you will stretch it more it will will get a long wick you must have seen your mama or your daddy or they must be using this for lighting a diya okay for lighting a lamp we use this type of wick okay so the children in this way the thread is made earlier now we used machine we used different types of machines for making the thread okay but when there was no machine so at that time this was used what is this can anybody guess me what is this picture children charkha. this is a charkha okay very good this is a charkha or spinning wheel okay when there was no no machines were not there at that time the cotton uh, the cotton thread was made in this way by by using a charkha the famous person can you tell me who used this charkha can anybody anybody guess mahatma anybody guess? very good it is related to mahatma gandhi ji okay what he do what he did mahatma gandhi ji he used to he used to use this charkha to make a cloth okay make a thread and then he used the, those clothes for himself and you know he started people's movement okay he called upon people he call, called them and he told them to use only those things that were produced in our country okay and not to use the things which are exported from other country okay now for this for this purpose he began to use a charkha or spinning wheel or spinning wheel to make thread okay so that is why we call that he call it swadeshi goods means swadeshi swadesh means our country the clothes are made it is made in our country and we should use it okay so this is swadeshi it was started by mahatma gandhi ji okay let's see next now what is a fiber children you have to first think tell the we we have to see what is a fiber fiber are the raw material fiber are the raw material used to make clothes so first we get the fiber and then means it is a raw material and then with the help of that fiber we make clothes okay so we have to think what is fiber so fiber is of two types okay we get the fiber that is of two types children remember okay remember this thing fiber is of two types which is that one is natural natural fiber and the another is synthetic fiber what is that natural fiber and synthetic fiber children you don't have to unmute your mic mute your mic and say but you have to repeat okay natural fiber 
natural fiber and synthetic fiber okay these are the two types of fiber so in natural fiber natural means nature so what is their nature plants and animals means with the help from the plants we get the fiber okay and in synthetic fiber that is made by man okay that fiber is made by man by using different process so natural fiber and synthetic fiber are the two types of fiber okay Nat in natural fiber what comes it uh, we get it from the plants and animals and in synthetic fiber we get it but me it is made by man okay don't forget remember okay natural fiber and synthetic fiber now in natural fiber children natural fiber means nature we had seen plants and animal and now what what does come in plant and animal see the first one is silkworm okay from the silkworm we get a fiber that is silk from silkworm we get silk and you can see here the next it is a plant of cotton okay you can see here cotton bud that is cotton plant we get cotton from cotton plants and the third is jute plant we get the jute okay that is also a material that is also a fabric okay we get the jute from the jute plant and last we all know this is sheep okay and from the sheep we get wool so silk worm cotton plant jute plant and sheep are the examples of natural fiber means plants and animal we get okay now synthetic fiber okay man made fiber created from chemical compound we use different types of chemicals okay after that we will get the fiber we will get the fiber okay so this is man made fiber because we have made by using the chemicals so there there, uh, there are some examples that is nylon rayon and polyester these are the types of cloths that is synthetic fiber see nylon you can see here the picture of these cloth nylon rayon and polyester once they are made once the fabric is done children then we dye them we give them color as we need okay so this is a man made fiber synthetic fiber nylon rayon polyester okay don't forget our huh, children next now tell me which are the two types of fiber we had learned just now who will tell me fibers are of two types which are they natural fiber natural fiber the another one is synthetic another one is synthetic fiber synthetic very good natural fibers and synthetic fiber are the two types of fiber we get very good next now let's see how cotton cloth is made okay from how do we get cotton fiber and all okay we'll see the process of it children look at the picture carefully yeah now now see this is a cotton plant okay so this is the fiber of cotton okay and then the next we will get here this is a yarn after that we will get the yarn of it okay see and after that we will get the fabric okay we will get the fabric after getting the fabric at the end we will get the cotton clothes from the fabric we can decide what we have to make cotton clothes we will get at the end got it so first we we, we got the fiber okay again we'll see this okay first we get the fiber cotton fiber and from the fiber we are getting the yarn okay you can see your threads like 
okay we got the yarn and after the yarn it is woven we had seen before the threads are woven with the machine okay they they are woven and then we get a fabric after getting the fabric we got the clothes cotton clothes hmm? now next process of making woolen clothes now let's see the woolen clothes how made see we all know we get the wool from the which animal sheep okay so sharing sharing of wool see how the wool woolen uh, wool is taken out from the sheep okay so first we got the fiber okay and then after that we will make it into a yarn okay it is made into a yarn okay that is a process children and then after that we will get the fabric okay by weaving it after weaving it we will get the fabric so first is fiber we get the fiber from the sheep okay sheep wool and then we'll get the yarn and then the fabric and with the help of the fabric we will get the woolen clothes okay so we'll make sweaters cap gloves okay we will get at the end we will get the woolen clothes okay these are the steps next now we had seen next is silk worm okay silk is obtained from silk worm we had seen there this is a small insect okay silk worm okay so we will get the silk from the silk worm it requires great deal of handling hence it is very expensive you can see here children the you will see the silk you can see here this is the fiber of silk you can see here it is so shiny okay it is so shiny and you can see in the first picture the fiber is so delicate okay it is very delicate so we have to handle it very carefully so because of all these things because it needs a great effort so that it is very expensive it is very expensive it is very costly okay the silk material so first we got the fiber and then there is yarn okay we got the yarn of it and then we will get the fabric you can see the fabric of a silk it is so shiny okay it is so shiny it is very soft when you hold it now in your hands you will feel very soft it is and it is very shiny and look it looks very beautiful okay so that is why silk is very expensive and because it goes through very so much of uh, so uh, so much of difficulties we will get it okay you can see here in this picture and at the last we can make the dress of it whatever dress or anything we want to make we can make out of it okay so this is the silk now next is our jute so jute we get from the jute plant okay so first we got the fiber from the jute plant okay and then we will get the yarn you can see here long longs okay we got we got the yarn of it and after yarn we will get the fabric okay fabric and with the fabric you can see here the sack okay this is the jute fabric and then we can make here bag of it or sack this is jute fabric this is jute fabric you can see here okay <clears throat> and we can make bag of it or sack of it okay so from the jute so fiber yarn fabric and then we will get the product of it so this is the step of getting a cloth next now children you have to tell me the process right come on tell me first what we will get come on tell me first of all what we will get who will tell me cotton fiber then yarn very then good. fabric then cloth very good fiber then yarn then fabric and then cloth very good okay so what this are this is the cotton clothes this is a process of making cotton clothes okay very good very good answer so children you don't have to forget keep remember it 
fiber, yarn, fabric, and then at the end we'll get the cloth. Okay. Now see, we have we know when we'll get the fabric. Okay. What we have we know we get the fiber. Okay, and then yarn, and from the yarn we get the fabric. So from yarn to fabric, there is a process of weaving. There is a process of weaving. After weaving, we will get the fabric. So there are methods to weave cloth. Cloth. Okay, there are methods to weave cloth. We'll see that. See, one is knitting. You must have seen your grandma or your parent, your mother knitting, knitting the wool. Okay, so in this we need needles. In this we need needles and with the fingers. Okay, with the fingers we knit the cloth. And at the end, we get the. You can see here in this picture. Okay, at the end, this is the woolen cloth we get. We got. Okay, so one method that is knitting. One method that is knitting with the help of needles. Okay, so in this, uh, with the help of this, we can make small, small caps. Okay, baby, mostly for the babies, we make caps. We make their sweaters. We make their gloves. Okay, socks, everything, by using the knitting method. Another, see children, we all know mama, mama wear sari. Okay, saris are saris are there, bed sheets are there, and the material which is very big. For that, we cannot use the knitting method. We cannot knit the cloth for so long. Okay, for that, we use the two methods. That is hand loom and power loom. Okay, we use these two method, these two machines, to weave cloth on a large scale. On a large scale, when a uh, when the material is very big, when the when the cotton the cloth is very big, how we get the big big cloths? We don't sit and knit by using the machines. These two machines are there that we'll see. The first one is hand loom. The first one is hand loom. In this, you can see this uncle. The person is sitting over here, and he is using the hand loom machine, and he is using his hands. The name itself tells us hand loom. Hand means you are using hand, and loom is a machine. Okay, so hand loom machines are used. You can see here in this picture also. <clears throat> Here, the threads, yarn is there. Okay, yarn. Okay, and the yarns are colorful, so that we will get at the end colorful cloth. Okay, and you can see here in this picture, children. Sorry. You can see here the cloth is the cloth is coming out. You can see here this, and here you can see the yarn. Okay, so this is a hand loom machine. This is a hand loom machine for getting the cloth in large scale. Okay, we want big big cloths. We use the machine. The first machine we had seen that is hand loom. Okay, the second one is power loom. See the name. What is the name? Power. Power means we are using electricity here. Okay, power loom. Loom is a machine, and power is electricity. So it runs on electricity. Okay, here also you can see the yarn. With the help of the yarn, we are we are making the we are making the cloth. We are making the cloth, and the cloth is colorful. Okay, by using colorful yarns. Okay, so in this way, hand loom and power loom are used. To weave cloth, to weave cloth on a large scale. Okay, let's see some points about hand loom and power loom. See, in hand loom there is low investment. Low investment means it doesn't need. We don't need the machine which runs on electricity. Okay, the machines are normal, so that is low investment. And here the investment is high. We need high investment. Now here we'll get less production because we are using hands. Okay, we are using hand loom. Okay, so and here because of the machines, the machine which runs on the electricity, so we can get the more production. Means more product we'll get, more cloth we'll get on a large scale. 
Now here, the manual operation, man, manual, the manual means man is operating here. Okay, man is using his hands and he is using that machine. But here it runs on electricity. It runs on electricity. Here manual operation and here it runs on electricity. Now, see, because it is made with the help of hand, so the quality of the product is high. And because it is made on the machine, it is quite low as compared to hand loop. Okay, so the low, it, the, it is low quality. Now here, with the help of hand, so it requires lot of time and it runs on the electricity with the, from on machines. So it saves our time. Okay, so these are the points. These are, these are, these are the points of differentiate between hand loom and power loom. Okay. Now, now let's see about clothes. How do we wash clothes? See, every day we wear our clothes, okay? And every day mama wash the clothes. So how do we wash our clothes? What do we use? See, we wash our clothes regularly. Children, we should wash our clothes regularly. We use plain soaps. What do we use? Plain soaps, detergent soaps, and liquid soaps for washing our clothes. Okay, we use soaps. We can, or we can also use soap nuts. That is, in Hindi, we call that Rita, washing soda, hingan bet, and limestone to wash our clothes. These substances are natural ones. See, these are the natural ones. Whereas soap and detergent, detergent, uh, detergent powder, they are man-made. Okay, and but Rita, hingan bet limestone okay these are natural one which is also used to wash our clothes okay to clean our clothes it is also used so what do we use to wash our clothes we use washing soda okay or detergent powder or soap bars yeah soap okay so we use all these things to wash our clothes to look to look to look them good now Cleaning the clothes. Our clothes become dirty after we use them due to various reasons. Okay, you can see here these children. They are playing in the mud. Okay, look at their clothes. Their clothes are very dirty. Okay, in order to take care of our health, we should wear clean clothes and should also keep them neat and tidy. Wearing clean, neat and tidy clothes is a good habit. Okay, you can see here in the last picture, children. The children are looking so good in neat and clean clothes. Where are children? Their clothes are dirty. Look at them. Okay, so we should always, children, it is for everyone. We should wear clean and neat and tidy clothes. So it is also a good habit. Okay. Now, reusing the clothes. Now, children, this is the another thing. Reusing, reuse means use again. Okay, let's see how. Clothes are durable. Even if they become old, they can be reused. See, for example, uh, the shirt which you, which you used to wear in first standard. But it won't fit you now because you are grown up now. Okay, but that shirt, if the condition is the, the condition of the shirt is good, you can ask your brother to wear it. Okay, so in this way, we are reusing the shirt. We are re reusing the clothes. Okay, so we can reuse the clothes in the following ways. Let's see the different ways. Giving these clothes to the needy and poor people. If we don't need, if the condition is good and you're tired of wearing that shirt again and again, what instead of throwing it away, what we can do, we can give it to the one who is in need, okay, and the poor people. Torn clothes can be made into small articles such as dish cloth, quilts, doormats. See children, if the well, if, uh, if there is a hole in the, in a shirt or in a frock or in a uh, cloth, okay, you don't want to use that. So, mama can use that for uh, cleaning the uh, dishes, okay, for wiping the dishes or we can make a quilts of it by stitching them, 
or we can also make door mats there are different types we can use the torn clothes into a useful way okay old clothes can be made into new cloth by taking its thread out we can take out the thread okay for example woolen we can take out the thread easily okay so that we can make a new cloth of it okay so and another thing is that thread pair clothes can be converted into pulp okay when the cloth is become very very soft and it it can be easily torn okay we can make it pulp by using different processes there okay pulp can be made can pulp can be used to make paper and that pulp can be made into paper okay see this is the reusing of the cloth this paper is used for making flowers and paper plates models can be made from cloth pulp okay we can also make model of it <clears throat> now see these are the examples of reusing the cloth first we can make door mat of it you can see and here the frock is made out of a shirt okay so this is a reusing of old cloth and quilt okay you can see here the quilt we can use it any way either as a chadar or we can place it on the floor okay quilt you can see here by stitching the pieces of cloth and then you can see here a bag is made out of a sandal banyan okay so these are the uses reuses of cloth okay children quilt bag door mat okay now see another way that is donate your old clothes to needy people what we can do we can donate our clothes if the condition of the cloth cloth is good okay if the condition of the cloth is good and we can donate them to the needy we had seen that before also now do you know you can see here the picture okay the woman buying cl old clothes in exchange of new utensils okay you must have seen your mama must be giving your old pant shirt jeans okay frock to this person okay and what in exchange they gave it to your mother utensils new utensils they gave to your mother so what do we call them we call them bohrin what do we call them bohrin okay we call them bohrin what they do the women buying old clothes in exchange of new utensils they give us new utensils and they take away the old clothes okay we call them bohrin okay <clears throat> now diversity in clothes children diversity we all know we live in a country which is diversity we have food diversity means different types of food we get okay different types of language religion caste culture okay we live in a country there is also one more diversity that is our country is diversity in clothes okay you can see here this picture how the rajasthan people they are wearing the clothes the assami people okay your parsi madras gujarati okay kerala koli okay bengali nepali so different people in our country they wear different types of clothes and some people they wear clothes according to the climatic condition as well see there is diversity in clothing in our country people in maharashtra mainly wear cotton clothes what we wear cotton clothes because of the temperature okay it is hot here so we mostly wear cotton clothes okay so according to the climate and according to the states the cloth is also change okay now children answer me ready name the following machines used to weave clothes on large scale we had seen there were two machines power was, loom yes very good power loom and hand loom hand loom very good hand looms 
and power looms are the two machines which are used to weave the clothes on a large scale very good next articles made from torn old clothes tell me now old clothes with the help of the old clothes what we can make we had seen the pictures also yes white pink clothes sorry what we can make uh, we can wipe okay we can wipe the dishes very good and what else what we can make out of it we i had shown you the picture it was stitched bag. we can use bag okay we can make a bag and we use near the doors when we come inside the house what do we keep door uh, door uh, door mat very good we can make very good we can make quilts or door mats of it very good very good answer very good try okay from the old clothes and next types of fiber there were two types of fiber which are they natural fiber and synthetic fiber very good natural fiber and synthetic fiber are the two types of fiber very good answer now name the animal from which we get fine cloth can you name the animal from which we get sheep the cloth sheep yes. and silk worm very good sheep and silk worm very good next name the plant from which we get fiber now tell me name the plant okay jute and cotton very good cotton and jute very good next now come on others also answer me match the following okay you have to match them now see here sheep cotton jute sack sweater and cloth okay now you have to tell me what do we get from the animal what cotton sheep yes seal cotton yes what do we get from the sheep cotton cloth we at the end what we get from the sheep sweater we get sheep from the sheep we get wool okay and from the wool we make sweater okay now cotton from the cotton what we get cloth cotton cloth okay we get the cotton cloth after jute from the jute what we what do we make sack sack we make sack from the jute very good okay now which of the following can be used to wash clothes okay now you can see here soap perfume present powder and ash from these pictures you have to tell me which things do we use to wash clothes yes soap detergent powder very good detergent powder and what else do we use Soap. Yes. Soap. Very good. We use soap and detergent powder to wash the clothes, and not perfume and ash. Okay. Okay, teacher. Yes. Now, children, your homework for today. Okay. Soap. What is your homework? You have to draw a picture of your favorite dress. This is just an example for you. You can draw your. You can think on your own, and you can draw the favorite picture of your. favorite dress okay thank you children and don't forget to subscribe like and share our bmc edu english channel okay thank you